Oh, and another thing, man, I could go around saying, and I'm sure it is, did go around saying, because she said as much to me, you know, and I'm sure she said it to that judge who ultimately deemed her worthy to be God over my mother. She probably is saying stuff, said stuff, or whatnot, like, I'm just trying to help my sister, and all my niece cares about is herself. No. I can simultaneously, Joe would call that black magic, smoke and mirrors, smoke and mirrors bullshit. I can simultaneously care about my mom and still feel that I have the right to not be left at the enemy of my mercy with the clothes on my back. You understand? I have a right to worry about myself too. And Joe knows and a lot of people know and I know that my mom would have never wanted me to be in this situation. The mom who loved me more than anything. Okay? So, but again, black magic. Again, the system is rigged against me. And that's the bottom line. I'm disabled. But I can say anything and be believed. Okay? But that's a bunch of hooey. It's smoke and mirrors, black magic bullshit. My niece, I'm just trying to help my sister. My niece does, only cares about herself. She doesn't care about her mom at all. Bullshit. I can simultaneously care about my mom and also have the right and to care about myself. You know what I mean? And not want to be left at the, at, with nothing at all, with the clothes on my back and at the mercy of my aunt. That doesn't mean I don't care about my mom at all. But remember, Auntie's Little, when she originally offered me this thing, you know, it's, she says it's a win-win situation. I stay here while my mom rents out Auntie's downstairs apartment. I stay here and pay all the bills. At that time, she didn't say you just pay the utility. She said you pay all the bills. That's only fair. And your mom's going to pay all the bills, you know, rent out my downstairs apartment. It'll take the stress off of both of you. It's a win-win situation. And then when I didn't go along with it, remember what she did. I, I made what I felt was a rational suggestion, sell the house, give me a small amount that my mom had always wanted me to have, my mom has plenty of money, you know, sell the house, we get, still got the 401k, we get the money in the bank, give me enough money to start a new life with my dog, and what do we get from auntie? Well, it, what do we get from auntie? She's not ready to sell her house. Why can't you put your mother ahead of yourself for a change, i.e., why can't you stop being so selfish? Meanwhile, as we've already established, I was doing nothing but putting my mother ahead of myself while Auntie was nowhere to be seen, right? But I know, I, I don't have to be there to know every, anything she's saying about, oh, my, I'm trying to help my sister, my niece is against it, all she cares about is herself, blah, blah, blah. I have a right to care about myself too, okay? I am my mom's only child. I was her sole heir. She would have never wanted me in this situation. Like Joe said, she wanted you to have that money. She would never wanted Omar to go blind in front of me. That would have been abhorrent to her. Okay? She loved me more than anything else in the world just a measly few months ago. I have a right to not want to be in this situation. To not want to be left with the clothes on my back, saving up my pity little thousand dollars a month while I'm at the complete mercy of my fucking enemy, who as soon as, even though she says I'll never evict you and Omar, besides that setting aside the fact that I don't want to be here and don't feel safe here and don't like it that she could come in here whenever she wants legally. She's not even viewed as a freaking landlord, okay? She's viewed as my mom, and my mom could come in here whenever she wanted, so so can I. It's bullshit, okay? It's smoke and mirrors, black magic bullshit. It doesn't mean I don't care about my mom when I also care about myself. Okay? But I know what Auntie said. I know what she's saying. I know what she said because I'm smart. Okay? Because she said as much to me. It's smoke and mirrors, black magic bullshit. I have the right to care about myself, too. I have the right to not want to be left with the fucking clothes on my back, saving up my pit a little thousand dollars a month so I can get the fuck out of here where every day is a torment to me because it reminds me of everything that happened. Okay? And I thought it was pretty damn reasonable of me. Everything will go to my aunt. Anyway, we already established that. They already know that. Just give me a small amount that my mom would have always, always, always wanted me to have to start a new life with me and Omar. But again, that's abhorrent to my aunt. She can't even throw me crumbs. She can't even pay the friggin' utilities on this place because she wants me on my knees and at her mercy. End of story.